Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of Stellaris Console Edition. Alrighty, when we left off, we had been doing, well, pretty good for ourselves, trying to expand our uh, reach a little further into here, while also dealing with the occasional galactic community scuffle and shenanigans on the whole. So, uh, here's hoping that we continue to get further inward this ways, because I really want to get some of this territory actually evened out. And, uh, as far as I'm aware, the Spuxalak are now done fighting the Commonwealth. Um, the Sutherian entity is still a problem, but we'll get them back eventually. And, uh, help the Yeon Alliance while we do it. And, uh, yeah. Otherwise, we're doing pretty well for ourselves. So, onward we go, as usual. And we'll see how it goes. Uh, I have this construction ship still working on building up mining stations and whatnot. But after that, they will be all done with that shenanigans. Science division uh -oh. reports a new breakthrough. Why is the food going down? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, there we go. The Curator Research... Or, or rather, Archaeology Lab. A shipboard... Uh, I can talk, really. I can. <laughs> a shipboard lab with advanced archaeological equipment, including a vast database supplied by the Curator Order, where new discoveries can be easily cross-referenced. Cool. All right. Gateway activation. That would be good... But, I don't know. I still have plenty I need to research before I start working that. Especially since uh, that will be a problem for me once everyone else learns how to open up their gateways. Yeah, so, um, let's go into multi-dimensional analysis instead. Studying something from the limited perspective of a single dimensional reality does not paint the whole picture. Every angle must be considered. Well, if that's the case, let's do it. We'll work on the gateway activation later. Now, speaking of gateways, I have this one right here sitting with no base whatsoever. And it kind of leads a more or less direct path to my home planet and multiple other planets that we own. So, I'm putting a star base in here as well. It's currently in starport phase um we'll eventually be building it up further and uh yeah that's going to be the plan moving forward making sure we have some sort of defenses on this at least um everything else i don't think i have no i don't have another gateway but i do have a wormhole that i also have Whoop. um Okay. Interesting. Following a long period of growing support from the full enfranchisement initiative, the Sacrosanct Thymoid Conclave has finally embraced the faction, adopting their core values and policies. As a result of bringing this faction into their government, they have become more outwardly egalitarian. Interesting. I already have this here but it probably will not be enough due to the fact that it the wormhole opens up right where the exits to all the other places are so i'm a little in trouble if uh, they decide they want to go that way or that way construction <sighs> complete it is what it is there's not much i can do about it oops that was not what i wanted i wanted this there we go um, more anchorages and more hangar bays. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Cool. I'll look at that in a second. First things first, though, I want to build that up. Perfect. Um, we'll get those campaigns back underway, at least for these. Cool. Uh, I need to have another edict since I have the capacity for two. But I don't know what I want to do. Especially since it will just last until I cancel it. I don't know. 
know. I don't know. Food won't be a problem once I start researching more into that. So... Energy's always going to be an issue, because it's always difficult to keep it up. Um, especially when you're dealing with a large empire. Which is what we intend to eventually be. Uh, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. From here on out, we do got these two going again, though, so it's fine. The standardized cruiser... Cruiser... Standardized cruiser patterns. There we go. Establishing new standards for the modeling and construction of cruisers greatly improves the efficiency of the production pipeline. Absolutely it does. Alright, what's the next thing I can work on that makes sense? Uh, mineral purification? I really don't need it that badly. I have minerals out the wazoo. But, I mean... I might as well finish deep core mining. Might as well. It has one month anyway. Complete. Just knock it out of the park and then we're Science done. Division reports a new breakthrough. There we go. See? All right. Afterburners. Meh. Don't really want to those. Um, nano separators, replicator kiosks. Cross model standardization. It would add more modification points to robots. Which I don't have a lot of. So it's almost like it doesn't matter. Um, Devastator torpedoes would be nice. Would be very nice. Um... You know what? You know what? Gall, daughter of Pock, is good with these sort of technologies, plus maniacal. So, let's do it. It'll get it done quicker. Way quicker. Okay, and the Wanabis, Wanambis, rather, one is now done. Perfect. Which means we can move to making it a semi-trade hub as well, because we do have some trade uh, areas around that section. So might as well. Um, target uplink. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Which, now that I think about it, is actually also a good idea for, for Sham. Because then maybe that'll let the uh, the defense platforms reach far enough to get those ships before they become an issue. That is an idea. It's a good idea. I like the idea. When we get another upgrade to Vorsham's uh, whole thing, which I think we can still do, can't we? Oh, I don't have enough don't have enough alloys but it is possible I do have an, I do have a feasible idea I just lack the materials to do it balls um, mm. maybe I can buy more oh wow the market has just been flooded with alloys to the point that the price is super low. I like that. I kind of like that. Um, okay, we'll upgrade it after that. And then we'll throw in that thing. I forget the name of it already. <laughs> Even though it was the entire reason why I was focusing on it. I completely forgot the name of it. But it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. No worries at all. Great. This as well. Um, where should I Science put... Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Okay, Afterburners got done. Cool. Um, let's move on to... Mineral Isolation? Now... 
This would be much more useful, the Steel materials here. The strong yet flexible material is capable of withstanding severe punishment. It serves well as ship armor. Which is even more reason to throw it on. Alright. Which planet could do to have more farmers? Or have farmers, period. The hell? Camelot just does not have enough people going in. That's weird. It says Dawn Light. It's really weird. Well, no wonder I'm having issues with food production then. I just don't have enough people to maintain what I need. That makes sense. Unfortunately, not Science much I can division do. Science reports a new breakthrough. Oh, oh no! Scientist Muhammad Kadem. Oh no. It's been an honor. Okay. So we will put Alexander Yurzov in that position and has nothing else to do so far. This was just the standby position. So, whoop, okay, that was an accident. Okay. What was it that got done? It was the multi-dimensional analysis. Okay. So, from here on, we move to advanced shields. I don't see why not. An updated shield generator that produces an even stronger energy field. Only sustained enemy fire can penetrate this barrier. Well, that's a good idea to have it on hand then. <laughs> Let's be honest. Ooh. Polysima Syndicate has entered a research agreement with the Spuxlac, okay? Ah, there we go. Had to have an energy drink in my veins. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. And I have all the star bases I'm allowed to have. Ha! <sighs> For now. Currently working on the nows. And. Hmm. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Oh. Hey! Climate restoration is done. By advancing our understanding of atmospheric manipulation, we will be able to terraform, terraform even the most ecologically devastated worlds. Hell yeah, let's do it. Um, combat training is probably a good thing to look into, especially as uh, ground campaigns will eventually become more of a commonplace thing. A more extensive training program for new recruits, including realistic combat scenarios, prepare them for the field. Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. Science Division reports a new breakthrough. Well, that was quick. Durasteel Materials is finished. Beautiful. Um, then... Another Elgate Insight? Well, might as well. Might as well. And get all the fleets upgraded. Now. Okay, cool. And minor research sanctions has now passed. Beautiful. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Cool. Comfort the fallen. Still abstain from that. Set up floor. Um, we don't have a galactic council yet? Oh, yeah, because it hasn't come to a vote yet. Their speaker for the United Nations of Earth is not who I expected to see. But okay. Okay. Got the 
racket again. Kettlings, yes, we know of them. Ah, once brethren, get generations ago, long back. They did not like, did not approve that we were cleverer than they. Better at collecting, finding, taking, greater. They sent us away, floating in the void, no matter. We are stronger now without them. Okay, what can you offer us? <laughs> oh, you want alloys? But I don't want to give you alloys. I mean, having some pops would be nice. Criminal records. Ugh. Nah, sorry, move along. I need alloys and I need everything else right now. Uh, they're moving to Nusikon, that's right. Then after they're done, they'll move back. That'll be fine. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Hey, advanced shields is done too. Oh boy. Going through them really quick. Planetary shields. Generating a strong energy shield within a planetary atmosphere is a greater challenge than in the vacuum of space, but it offers a potent defense against orbital bombardment. Well, how could I turn that down? They're probably going to need another upgrade after they're done. Construction complete. What? Oh, missed the thing that got done. What was that? Oh, the combat training. Cool, 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 cool. All right. Um, what should I go with? It's an interesting question. Um, the gene banks is cheap, but I don't know. Uh, collateral damage that they inflict is pretty high. 125%. Ugh. But their health, morale, their damage and morale damage is pretty decent. Okay, yeah, sure. Let's go with that. It's cheap and it's easy. Ships refitted. Yeah, I had a feeling. Okay. So... Ships refitted. We'll have to make sure to do that again, and then we'll send you over. On back. There we go. All right. Hey, the food's back up into the positives. Beautiful, which means one of the farmer positions got filled. You, damn, Ships even refitted. on felon day. Jesus. No wonder. Okay. Uh, the other fleet has been finished. Good. There isn't any more updates. Okay, cool. Alrighty. Ships refitted. Alright, they're doing good. Cool. Just trying to make sure that that one bug was dealt with. Precinct houses. Um, oh. Oh, so that's how a governor is allowed to come on. You have to establish it as a sector. That's weird, but okay. Fair enough. Um, Branislav Markov is sitting there, so might as well give to him. Works out beautifully. And then I don't need the precinct house. Cool. Um, allows me to throw in an administrative office instead. Cool. And then, what do I do here? What do I got? Um, some things are going to have to wait till it's no longer just a growing colony, but an actual proper established planet. Um, hmm. Mystic Shrine? That would be nice. Sure, let's do it. 
Do it on Acropolis. That should be good. Um, Uh-oh. Construction ship is done here. Uh-oh. I need something for it to do. Well, there are little spots here I was intending on doing stuff with. Also, wow, I just noticed how many frames I apparently dropped during this episode. Sorry. <laughs> Didn't know. Okay. Yeah, it's spilling all over the place. Um, hmm. Have them build one there. And then... There. Science we'll Division reports a new breakthrough. To the other side. Research 15 rare technologies in a single game. Well, hey, how about that? Cool. Completed the research of gene banks. Cool. Filter and curate available genomes for deployment in clones. Cool. Epigenetic triggers. Advanced DNA methylation techniques allow for functionally significant alterations to be made to arbitrary genomes. Allows genetically uplifting and socially integrating species which are close to being sapient. Okay. All right. Well, I mean, that's something to learn now. Might as well. And then the Elgit Insight is now done. Ah, uh, because it was also a rare technology, so it also counted. Okay, cool. That explains it. Intensive study within the fields of nanomachinery and subspace phenomena will eventually yield a new Elgate Insight into the disabled Elgate mystery. A core of engineers would be nice. Actually, it's cheap and nice. Uh, let's go with it. <laughs> the creation of a dedicated naval engineering corps will greatly benefit the construction of deep space defensive platforms, decreasing building costs, and increasing durability. Well, how could I say no to that? Science right. Division reports a new breakthrough. Polysimus Syndicate declared war on the Sutherian entity. Nice! Alright, um... Planetary Shields is now done. Um, interplanetary Research Initiative is very cheap. And it's pretty okay. A bid for interplanetary resource pools and more flexible research grants. Okay. I'll go with that. And if that's the case... And... Hmm. Hmm. Can't assign leader to the same occupation. That makes sense. Um, currently, who is the president? The Spuxlax Star Nation. Okay. Um... Hmm. Hmm. Eh, those are something I'll look into later. Um. I say we vote to also fight the Sutherian entity. I say we humiliate them. Our allies have 19 claims that we are trying to conquer from the enemy and their allies. Well, might as well also go for that. But I don't have those claims, so they can deal with that. Unknown war goal. Um, let's do that. And leave it as a vote for our federation to decide whether or not they want to do in the meantime, I will also send my other fleet over here. Standing by to commence offensive operations. All right. Everyone voted yes. We are now at war with the Sutherian entity. 
Seeking to destroy one of us is seeking to destroy us all. The Sutherian entity now stands against the Empire of Felinae. Well. Kind of asked for it. Okay. And we have closed borders from the Commonwealth of Man. Who cares? Um, how about you head over here, deal with them in this section. Another one. Megapolis. Have a planet with at least a hundred pops. I'm assuming that's our main planet. That's interesting. I'm just getting achievements left and right here. Achievement! Hell yeah! Okay. Banning the organic slave trade? Absolutely beautiful. Why am I not surprised that the Sutherian Entity and the Commonwealth of Man voted against? Why am I not surprised? Ah, oh, you bastards. You absolute, stunning, stupid bastards. I swear. Okay, so we have made our first move. Construction we'll move complete. ZR to help engaging enemy station. Make it a little easier. Science division reports a new breakthrough. Oh, for species with unspent trait. Oh, this is the species we can uplift. Interesting, since we now have the epigenetic triggers done. Cool. All right. So, let's see. What should we do next? Honestly, you should probably do galactic campaigns. It'll help us with this war here. Further improvements to administration grant an extended power projection across the stars and the military clout needed to enforce our demands. Beautiful. Let's do it. Cool. We're doing great work there. Okay, there was the Clorvisarium? That's a hell of a name. It's probably all the way down at the bottom of this list. Wow, there are different variants of human all over the place. Jesus. There are so many. So many different variants. Damn. Um, so just show the ones that are within my species or rather the species that are within my empire apparently not a lot um, interesting but I still have some that are like that it's really weird um well, if that's the case, I'm going to fix that. Um, apply the template here. Wait, can I modify it further? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, apply this template to the remaining who did not get the initial treatment, I guess. New sit rep. Apparently, they're all on Acropolis. There we go. And move forward. Let us move further. Engaging enemy station. Oh. Kettling Star Pack has finally embraced the faction of the Xeno Liberty Committee, adopting their core values and policies. As a result of bringing this faction into their government, they have become more outwardly xenophilic. Hell yeah, they like us now. Can't complain about that. All right, they're done there. Are you really having trouble with this? Oh, it's because they haven't swapped over yet. That makes sense. Okay. Well, time to move on here. Construction complete. I'll let them take care of that. Alrighty. Beautiful. Beautiful. Alright. Um... Move on to Nimolan. 
don't need that. The research... Oh, yeah, we did that. Cool. Awesome. We finished that. Uh, in that case... What do we do? Advanced reactor boosters? Uh, that's the cheapest. And it would add quite a bit of power generation having those. But then again, I don't think I have any ships that have them equipped. Huh. Ooh, excuse me. A little burpy from my energy drink. The discovery of antimatter power allows for highly advanced reactor boosters that can greatly enhance ship reactors. All right. Let's do it. All right. Felon is now completely updated. Might as well finish that with humans as well. Also on Acropolis. Is Acropolis not route. bothering to do the genetic stuff that I already have laid down? And it's still, still the same way. Citharian Entity and Commonwealth of Man against this vote. Everyone else is for. That's insane. That is insane. Leverage privateering. Trade is the lifeblood of the galaxy. All members of the galactic community should contribute to a multinational space force to combat piracy and other threats to free commerce. I don't see why not. Hell yeah. That's a good idea. It's a great idea, in fact. I love it. Let's do it. Okay, Acropolis. Wait. Acropolis is... Oh, I have a, one too many specialists. That's what the problem is. Well, this is what it is. Okay, Dawnlight as well. Also has a new thing, which is good. Um, yeah, let's do exotic gas refineries. I can always use more. Holy Jesus, I'm losing so many credits. So many credits. Jesus. Um, let's have... Some more of these built as well. Why not? Dawnlight is a very capable planet. Might as well have as many districts on it as possible. Uh-oh. Polysimus Syndicate is not a big fan of me anymore. Uh-oh. Oh. Oh, I could say, well, that was funny. It appears that a mischievous... Oh, wait! Oh! Oh, is the Polisman envoy insulting me? <laughs> oh, that's funny. A mischievous third party was able to hack into the translation software of the Polisman envoy to Felonday, Stock of Red, so that instead of uttering magnanimous platitudes, they began spewing vicious insults that left none unscathed. The malfunction in their equipment was duly uncovered, but not before Empress Catalina I was declared to be a vile beast. A grave insult which surely calls for a response. Come on, that was funny! That was funny! It, it was clearly a hacked thing. It was a, clearly a hack translator that was specifically meant to sow discord between us. So I say, you know what? It's fine. It's fine. Xenophile ethics attraction is increased. Amenities is increased. Well, it was funny. It was funny. <laughs> it was clearly hacked. It was clearly hacked. Come on, man. Come on. Not that it, was, it wasn't on purpose. It wasn't on purpose. We all know Action that. Action underway. Oh boy. Okay, that was quicker than I expected. That was way quicker than I expected. It was going against the freaking starport. Jesus. Their starports suck. If I'm able to defeat them that quickly. Well, technically, I guess I'm not against their strongest ones because Suthkasa has the strongest by far. Ooh. I can unlock another tradition. Beautiful. And I can finish domination. Nice. There are many ways to motivate those who perform menial labor to work harder. Some based on incentives, and some not. Extended shifts, resource output from workers, and which we don't have, the other thing, increased by 5%. 
That's fine. But that's an edict that I can enforce, but I'm not going to. So it just unlocks it. That's good. It's good enough for me. And now I have another ascension perk. Hells yeah. Oh, I can't do evolutionary mastery? Oh, it requires the glandular acclimation technology. Crap. I gotta wait. Damn it. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, well. Debris in Nimolin. Oh, okay. I can easily pick that up. I just need to have... Oh, well, that construction ship is done. Should probably have them working. Uh, like that. And then move them to here. Finish that. There we go. That's a good idea. And then have... Sesutov's ship with Alexander Yurzov. Come over here and pick this up. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Where is the main fleet? Ah, it's on its way. Cool. Then in that case, it should be quick and easy to finish off the Sutherian entity. Shouldn't be that hard in the slightest, in fact. Go this way, and then this way, this way, and then just work my way around until I have completely fucked them up. Uh-oh, can't do that that way, or that way. Shit. Okay, well, we'll leave that. We'll leave that the way it is. I'll deal with that later. All right. So. New species variant available. Oh. Cool. Oh, well, did that thing. Core of Engineer. Done. Beautiful. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's. Let's finish out the robot modification stuff. Improved production practices allows for greater alterations to synthetic workers without compromising core functionality. Cool. Let's do it. We've now finished humans. Cool. And now let's get the Plex Credonian all finished up. But they're on Camelot. That's weird. Let's not match the rest of the uh, shenanigans thus far. Interesting. Um, did they not get upgrades for... Oh, I didn't realize I had a battleship. I should alter that, but that will be in a second. Did any of them get... Oh, some of them did not, in fact. Interesting. I didn't give all of them... Uh-oh. Can't do that. Can't do that with them. And how about with them? Can I do this with them? I can. How much does it hit firepower? Not that badly. Okay. Okay, well, the Panther class shall be fixed. Battleship Avenger class. <laughs> Let's not name it that. Um, sides. Uh, I have a bunch of stuff I want to do with this. Namely, make it the artillery ship, more or less. A uh, hangar bow, actually. Mm, that's, it's not terrible. Hmm. Um, let's have it as artillery. And make it a hangar core, maybe? So stern won't be a hangar, but the bow and core will be. Hmm. Where's the placement of the main gun? Oh, over here. Um, hmm. Eh, that isn't terrible. Um, have both types. That's probably a good idea. Strike craft. 
And then have this. There we go. And then for the main guns, have proton launchers there and there. And then a kinetic battery there. And then also have this set up the same. And then, last but not least, we will have the plasma accelerator for when they get too close to the ships for comfort. Um, yeah, that's a good idea. And then we throw on regenerative and improve. Ooh, whoa. I just realized that the power... <laughs> I have not done any of the core components yet. That is probably not a good idea to keep that way. There we go. And it's good. Beautiful. We shall rename it. Yes. There we go. Good. I like it. I like it. And we shall delete this one because it is crap. And this one is better. Good. Good, 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 good. Good. All right. Okay. Fantastic. Okay. So, that will be in the future later. Done. And upgraded. But for now, we will continue on our way. Oh. Oh. Just repair at Tiam Station, since we're already there. And... Perfect. In that case, it's time to move this way to deal with their fleet that is coming in. Or just sitting there. Interesting. Either way, we're attacking that fleet because it's necessary. New species variant available. Why does that keep doing that? I don't need to be reminded of that, especially when I don't have them in my empire anyway. All right. Cool. And Well, they have now joined into a singular fleet. Uh-oh. Scientist Jen Zheng. Oh, no. It's been an honor. Okay. Now to... Can I recruit? No? Yes, I can. Let's go with the eager one. Charlotte Kellerman. Install her in place and then have her continuing to assist research in Camelot. Okay. Oh, shit. They almost got there. They almost got there in time. But now they will. Finish them off. <laughs> Beautiful. Beautiful work. Many wondrous, many wondrous things pass through our hands, yet we never line our pockets. It is the sacrifice we make so that the construction of the Tessar Tarville is completed and our children may one day see the Holy Land again. Well, then show us your wares. Maybe we shall help with that. Uh, more artifacts. And it's for alloys. Mm. Sorry. Sorry, can't see myself doing that. Okay. Well, let's go to the market once again sell off all of our minerals since we just collect them by the ass load sell off these as well because again collected by the ass load and sell those cool. do i have any automatic traits i do not what do i make more of exotic gases mainly so i guess i could whoops not buy sell Five of those, at least. And then... Set for seven. Cool. That's fine. I'll live with that. I can live with that. That's no problem. Okay. Um, 
Stimsis is done. Oh, I didn't have you set to aggressive. Well, now you are. Cool. And then have you go there. Have you go there. Whoop, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Huh. Don't know what thing popped up, but I don't think there was anything that actually popped up. That's weird. Anyway, time to head up over here. Let's see how their fleets over here are looking. Oh, they're looking pitiful. They're looking just absolutely pitiful. Just fine by me. Just fine by me. Science division. Seems most Reports of their fleets new are breaking upon the uh, Polysimus Syndicate's uh, fleets, so we're doing just fine. Advanced reactor boosters, done. Good. And... Ion disruptors would be nice. Maybe not exactly nice per se, because it only goes up to medium and only up to 50, but... It's an idea. Um, predictive algorithms would be nice for the uh, point defense systems. Advanced prediction greatly increases the accuracy of active countermeasure systems. Sure. It's a good idea. And then the cross-model standardization. Finish that up. And... Let's start with the Stormfire Cannons. Advanced rotary autocannons capable of spewing a cloud of high explosive shells at a target. Well, how could I say no to that? Beautiful. And then we... Whoops. That's not what I wanted. I wanted them to head over here. Alright. Cool. Cool. Okay. Construction complete. Well, they lost a few. But the damage is done. And I think it served its purpose. Okay. They're done here. Good. Make them build this one here. After that. And it should be good. All right. We're actually winning the war pretty well against the Thutherian entity right now. Hey. All right. Let's extend our deal with the curators. Beautiful. And we shall continue doing our damnedest to get, well, further along. I'll also have the fleet be reinforced since we lost at least one ship, if not two. Yeah, we lost a destroyer. That's fine. Ain't gonna be that difficult. Alright, the first Imperial fleet is doing some serious damage, which is nice. Oh! They're coming around this way, huh? Interesting. Interesting of them to take that path. Inbound message traffic. Um, the Plissimus Syndicate. Ah, uh, sorry. It's not. Okay, um, the Imperial Strike Force is now fully repaired. Good. Well, how about that? One of their bigger fleets is right there. Well... How could I turn down that? Construction complete. This option right now. How could I turn that down? All right. Spaceport reports. We lost a couple contact. ships, but we are winning, and we are destroying their transports for their army. <laughs> that was a wonderful masterstroke. Wonderful. Could not, could not just leave it be. Okay. 
Well, time to go and get repairs done. And upgrades done. And then we reinforce the fleet. And after we're done with that... We have voted on and passed the resolution ban the organic slave trade. Beautiful. But that also... Wait, what? Why is... Why is Earth in violation of galactic law? Weird. Also, I just realized we are way over time. Holy shit. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> time to end the episode here for right now. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see you all in the next episode. This has been the one the only Stray Cat. Playing games and doing some serious damage against the Sutherian entity. Finally, we are doing good work. And beating the Sutherian entity at their own fucking game. Which is just glorious. And here's hoping that we were able to get this going for us sooner rather than later uh, in getting this war done and over with. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll have to just completely rout them, which should be soon. Hopefully. For you.